Hi there, everyone. So for this video, we're going to talk about council tax. Now, your council tax, generally speaking, is paid from April the first year to April the following year. That's the period of your council tax. Um, you should get a bill through from your local authority that states on it the banding that you're in, which will be quite important for you, and also the amount that's due to be paid for the entire year. It should also have on it any particular discounts that you should get for the council tax rate that you're on, uh, and we'll go on to these in a little, in a little bit. Um, now, each local authority will have a different uh, way of dealing with your council tax and it will have different reductions for them. Uh, but there are a couple that are very general, such as, for example, uh, you know, if you're a single person living alone in your property, you would, of course, have a single person's discount of 25%. And um, if you were a disabled person, for example, you may be entitled to a disability banding. Um, and the eligibility criteria for things like that would be on your local authority's website. So the council tax bill would normally arrive, uh, you know, towards the end of March, within a few weeks of April. And this is usually because the new council tax year would begin on April the 1st. And um, there are a number of options to pay your council tax. Um, it's typical that it's broken down 10 monthly. Um, so this is usually a small payment in the first month followed by nine equal larger payments. And this gives you essentially a two month free period uh, towards the end of the year. Of course, the period is not actually free, it's simply that you paid for it up front. Um, if on the other hand, it doesn't suit you to pay 10 monthly, you may want to pay 12 monthly, or you may want to pay annually with one single payment that sorts you out for the rest of the year. Both of those are usually possible. And um, if you want to do that, you would have to contact your local authority in advance of the date of the first payment being made and just make them aware to set your account to accept those uh, pay scales or pay increments. Um, if you don't let them know in reasonable time that you're doing this, it may be that you receive uh, red letter bills from your local authority or reminders from your local authority um, because the account is sort of out of sync with the way that you are paying your council tax. Um, if that goes on long enough without being changed, it can unfortunately lead to the sheriff officers uh, getting involved because there is a belief that you are not paying the correct amount of council tax. So. Don't let it go on for too long right, like that. Make sure that your local authority knows how you're paying your council tax and when you're paying it. Now, if you're on an income-based benefit such as universal credit, um, you would be eligible for a reduction in your council tax up to up to 100% of the council tax itself. Um, remember that the council tax is not simply one bill in Scotland, it is three separate bills. It's your council tax, it's your water and your sewage. Now, for universal credit reduction, that refers to usually the council tax element itself, and that can be reduced by up to 100%. But you would still be required to pay both your water and your sewage. Uh, there would be no particular change in that, usually. Uh, for students, as everyone knows, there is a full council tax discount. There is no council tax or water or sewage to be paid for the length of time that they remain a student. Um, however, as soon as they end their academic year or end their studies, they would need to make sure the local authority was aware of that. Um, and in many cases, in fact, I think probably all cases, their institution would also let the local authority know as well. Um, so students often come out of education with a council tax bill waiting for them for a certain portion of the year. So just be sure to check your local authority website for all the information on uh, the council tax that you're paying. Um, and make sure you have a good understanding of how much is due. Um, and of course, in these uncertain times, stay calm and above all, be safe.